Hey everybody, welcome back to some more X4 Foundations. We're in the 4.0 beta build, and today we're going to go over a little more complex trading involving multiple stations. So basically my goal is to produce weapon components, and oh, before I forget, we are paused right now, and as I covered my last video, you can pause and unpause with the actual pause button on your keyboard. You don't have to be in any sort of menu to do that. So that's definitely handy. So let's get into uh, setting up this kind of complex trading environment. If you take a look at what I have, we're going to be dealing with these two stations. So we have, let's rename this. Uh, we'll call this the WC whole part factory and we'll call this uh, WC weapons factory okay so weapon components are the main final product and weapon components need a bunch of inputs so they need graphene helium energy cells and hull parts to make the superfluid coolant, to make the plasma conductors, to finally make the weapon components. Now, like we just showed, I also have a hull part factory that gets the ore, methane, and energy cells, makes it refined metals and graphene. That is what gets turned into hull parts. So the issue is, how do we set this up so my two factories here in Argon Prime can I can use the stuff from the whole part factory to feed the weapons factory instead of having my traders buy from wherever, which you may want to do. I mean, if there's good prices out there, it may be worthwhile to buy. But in this one, we want the whole part factory just to kind of feed the weapons factory, and that is where you can do well one of two things. One, you can use a mod like Station Mule. Two, you can use the in-game tools that are provided with the trade rules. And we're going to go that latter route with the trade rules. So trade rules are global orders, which are in the player information menu, and then the global orders uh, tab on the left-hand side. So we'll create a new trade rule. Um, the first... Go but we'll start out with just having a rule that says only accept, only do things with stuff I own. So we'll call that my stuff. And we'll apply that to station trades, station supply, and sale of ships, even though we aren't selling ships yet. We will restrict all factions. That allows your own faction, though. See, additional fa allowed factions, Val Selton. That's the game start I did. If we want to add other factions, we can do that here. But this is kind of the goal here is to have Val just my ships involved. All right, make sure to hit save trade rule. Okay, it's over there. Good, good. All right, now we go, we'll start with the whole parts factory. You go into logical overview. Actually, I should say there's, there's two ways to do this. You can go to the station information and on the information page right down here station trades you could say use the global setting which I actually don't know where to set that I haven't seen that and I, I honestly don't know what station construction trades no I do know what that is you can apply these settings to station building preferred build method is what I don't know what it is yet universal if anyone knows, please leave in the comments. That'd be helpful. But you can set the station trades and supply specifically here, and that'll apply to everything with the station. That's not what we want to do. We only want to do it to certain pieces of our supply chain. So you go into logical overview, and then we can go piece by piece. So energy cells, I'm okay with selling energy cells. Methane, 
I actually only want to get methane from my uh, miners. I don't want to buy up anyone else's. So if I had a station default, I could use use station setting. But since I don't, we will change from no restriction to my stuff. As you can see, an X appeared there. Now it will only allow my assets uh, to uh, buy the uh, the methane. Or I'm having a little trouble with ore at the moment, getting enough. I need more. So I will allow um, other, I will, I will buy that. So I won't put, uh, assign anything there. Now graphene, I'm using uh, for my weapon components and my hull parts. So I don't want to uh, sell this to anybody else. So we're going to change from no restriction to my stuff. This will just let my, my stuff buy graphene. And we don't, I don't really want to be buying up any graphene either. So we'll go ahead and make that my stuff too. Hull parts, we're use, we want these hull parts to go to my other, my uh, weapons clone factory. So we're going to change who we sell it to. Again, add my restriction. So it only sells to my assets. Now you'll notice these are here. They will not go, these orders will not go away immediately. I feel kind of bad about that because these guys will come to the station and when they get here, they'll be denied because of this new trade policy. So they went all this way for nothing. I wish there was a way we could tell them, hey, we changed the policy. You can just cancel right away. But this, these guys will stay on here until they get here and it gets canceled. Okay, so this is all good. We will only sell hull parts and graphene to ourselves. Great. Now let's go to our weapons factory. We'll go into logical overview. Okay, so here's graphene. We only want to buy this from ourselves as well. So you have to do it on both ends. So we'll add our trade policy for buying this. Helium, we don't need helium from anyone but our own miners. So we'll change this. We'll also put a trade policy on this. Energy cells, I am perfectly okay with uh, selling that. So we'll leave that as it is. Hull parts, we only want to buy this from our own assets. So we'll set that to my stuff. Okay, great. Next, superfluid coolant. We could uh, buy this from other people. I want to make sure we don't. So we'll change the buy to my stuff. And now, do we keep selling superfluid coolant based on my experience here with how much we generally have? Yes, so I will not put a restriction on selling superfluid super fluid coolant. If someone else wants to buy it, great. Plasma conductors, same thing. We don't want to buy any plasma conductors, but I am okay with selling it, so we will only put the trade policy on the buy part. And now weapon components... That's all fine. We want to sell these to whoever wants to buy them. We're not, we don't have any buy offers either. Okay, so we are all set up here. What we're going to do now is unpause this and let it run for a little bit. And we'll edit over to that piece once we get some, uh, once the trade policy gets in effect and some of the other orders drop off and we'll see where we are. All right, we'll be right back. All right, let's check in on our whole parts factory with our new rules. Graphene, 
Um, only our mercury is coming to get the graphene. That's great, as is expected. Refined metals, we are okay with selling. Hull parts, as mentioned, these are going to stick around for a bit. But now only our mercury vanguard. Now we have our mercury vanguards that are assigned to the other trading station, our weapons component training, training station, are coming to pick that up. And just to prove that, we can go look at the uh, alpha group here. Oh, sorry. That's the wrong headquarters. T -t -t Trader here. All right. Here are those Mercury Vanguards. They are buying whole parts. Now, I don't know why this guy's only buying one whole part, but he's buying a whole part from the station that they, they are supposed to. So that is good. And let's look at this guy right here. Information. Oops, wrong button. Information. Come on, my. Come on, where? You can do this. Behavior. And he's selling. He's sell, currently selling whole parts. So that's good. Now, they're, they are dealing in small amounts of whole parts. And that is mainly because of this whole parts. I only have 106 storage allocated to it. Yet I have 27,000 allocated to energy cells. That's a little much. So I'm going to unallocate automatic storage. Lower this just a bit. And now we can go into whole parts. Unclick allocate storage and increase. We can incre increase this quite a bit. And it'll automatically re reallocate things, but we only we don't need that much. We only need about a thousand in here. So that'll help us build up a little stockpile. And as you can see, we got 15 coming in here in one. Our weapons component factory is still being built. Our second one. So that is good. Um, the trade is flowing how we set it up, which is great. Now we'll go ahead and talk about another subject after a quick break here. I need to let this advance a little more. All right, here we can see a good example of our ships going back and forth in between our two factories. It's almost like a, a trade route they have going here to haul hull parts from the hull parts factory back to the weapons factory. So that is great to see. Uh, we'll soon be producing weapon components and rearming the... Argon. All right, and we're back for the final part of this video. So if we take a look at our weapons component station, we got our Mercury Vanguards bringing in hull parts, filling it up fast. And on our hull parts station, uh, let's make sure we got it. everything looks good there. We're only selling the Mercury Vanguards. This is this 683 one is actually our auto trader. So, but what what's eventually going to happen is we're going to start to fill up on graphene on hull parts because we we can't consume them fast enough. So the solution to that is maybe we want to sell some to our allies, our good friends. So we'll go to play information global alerts. And we'll create a new trade route, a new trade policy. Let's call it friends. Apply to station supply and station trade. Add factions. We want ourselves. And we'll just say the Argon. All right. Make sure to save it. 
Okay, and now we can special case some of our items so that the argon are allowed to also buy. So for example, hull parts. We'll change that from my stuff to friends. Now, I don't know why the Paranid's showing up there. They're not allowed to buy anything. That might be a bug with uh, with this, but when they get here, they'll get denied. So now uh, the Argon will be able to trade in whole parts, which will help us hopefully keep things moving. And we can also go to our weapons component factory. And let's say we wanted to keep things moving here. We could change this to friends as well. So they'll sell excess. If this gets full, we'll start to sell excess hull parts once the storage starts getting full. Superfluid coolant and plasma conductors we are already selling to anyone we want. So that's basically how you get some more complex trading actions going on using the trade policies. I hope this was helpful. I know it was a spreadsheet video. If you're still watching, um, you'll get that joke. X4 is known as a spreadsheet game, even though that's really not true. It's just the way I tend to show it because I kind of like the management aspects of it. But don't worry. Once we get money rolling in, we can afford big, cool ships. And then the real fun starts with videos where you blow stuff up and, and get into fleet battles. But we got to work our way there first, of course. All right, that about wraps it up. Thanks for watching.